In the South Bay, Bellarmine College Prep in San Jose is facing two lawsuits. Yeah, the school is accused of enabling sex abuse. The incidents reportedly happened in the 1960s and 70s. One of the alleged victims was a 15-year-old student. Crown Force Justin Campbell talked with the client's attorney. The lawsuits initially filed last year, but the court has just now given permission to name the school for its role in enabling the alleged sexual assaults. When the cases are older, you have to show that you have enough evidence that you have a credible claim against these defendants. And so getting the permission from the court to to name the defendants is, is really huge. And it's the first big hurdle you have to get to move forward with the case at all. Now, attorney Mary Bejo says her clients have lived with years of embarrassment and self-blame after allegedly being sexually assaulted by brother William Bill Farrington in the late 1960s and 70s. The two lawsuits alleged that Farrington sexually assaulted two students while performing unnecessary hernia checks. He, to our knowledge, didn't have any medical training and wasn't, you know, authorized to do these types of checks on individuals that he was allowed to. Bedro says Bellarmine College Prep should have also fired Brother Farrington and made sure he didn't work for any Jesuit institution because he allegedly had a history of sexually assaulting minors. And then it was known and it was talked about. Um, you know, students on, he, he also coached a number of different teams and students would always say, if they had to go to the infirmary, they'd say either bring someone with you or just be careful. It says the incident began in December of 1969 and went until March of 1970. One of the victims claims the abuse caused him physical, mental, and nervous pain. And while she can't turn back the time for her clients, she hopes to win her lawsuit and hold the school accountable. To put the blame back on those who were responsible because, you know, these were, these were children at the time that this happened. And for them to, to feel responsible for what happened to them is just not fair and it's been you know harmful to them their whole lives i reached out to the school multiple times this afternoon no one picked up the phone nor got back to me with my questions reporting here in san jose justin campbell cron 4 news